Hello, 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 friends. Oh, fiance is calling me from the grocery store. Great timing. Hello? I don't know. What's the, what does the recipe say? Yeah. I think so. They haven't responded, but I'm I'm in the middle of a live right now, so. Okay, bye. My god. Okay. Welcome friends. We are talking about new moon spells. So, hi Debbie. Thanks for joining. Um, I'm going to have to scoot in like 15, so I'm going to talk a bit about what we need to keep in mind with spell casting around this new moon. So, generally, Generally speaking, new moons are great for manifesting new things to us, right? Like bringing things in, um, like zhuzhing up our law of attraction, like manifesting, like new opportunities, all of that. But Monday is a lunar eclipse. So it's a little bit different than what we what we normally do, especially because a lot there is a lot of stigma around doing anything witchy during eclipses. A lot of people think that like the energy is too unstable. You don't necessarily know what you're going to get from it. But you can, but I don't believe that. Like all moon phases are good for us and like including the eclipses. So the first thing I'm going to say is like if you've had a week where you felt scattered as fuck or you've been really emotional or you feel like shit, that's this eclipse, okay? Like we always feel the effects of an eclipse up to a week before and a week after it happens. So if you've been feeling that lately, that is totally normal, totally fine. Like it's not just you. You can blame it on the sky like you're good, okay? And I know I've been in that space because I was feeling great over the weekend and then Monday hit and I was like, boom! All of a sudden I felt like I felt terrible. And it's because we got this eclipse coming up. So especially if you're sensitive to energy, if you're like an empath of any sort, if you have any side of sort of like, um, I'll say develop psychic gifts, because we all have psychic gifts. But if you've been really feeling it, like, yeah, you're, you're generally going to feel it more than other people. So yeah, I've been feeling it. So this lunar eclipse, oh, let me, where do I even start with this? Okay. So when it comes to new moon manifestations or new moon spells, we generally do manifestations, but eclipses bring the energy of change. So it's all about like, and that's why a lot of people say don't, don't make moon water, don't charge your crystals, don't do anything, because that energy is very, um, um, it like moves a lot, right? Like it's change. It's a little bit of a chaotic energy, but that's still good for us. Like, we still need that sometimes. We still need that energy of change. So if you want to create moon water, you want to charge your crystals, that's great. But you need to be, you need to understand what kind of energy you're f infusing them with. So like, for example, if you're going to make moon water, you need to understand that that's not moon water you're going to want to drink all the time. And it's probably not going to be something that you drink often. It's going to be like, think about it like getting high, right? Like you don't want to take, we don't want to be taking cocaine every weekend. But like once in a while, a bump isn't going to get, a bump is like what you need, right? Or like a five hour energy. Maybe think of it like an energy drink, not cocaine. I swear I've actually never done cocaine in my life. So I can't really say that. Now I'm, now I'm talking way too much about cocaine. So now the NSA is going to get me, but Think about it like like one of those like energy drinks full of crap, okay? Like full of sugar, full of all the all the all the caffeine, food dye, all of it. We don't want to drink that all the time, right? But sometimes you need a gas station energy drink, right? And the only thing that's going to work is a monster. Like that's it, right? So that's how I want you to think of this moon water. Like you can still create moon water, but that stuff's going to be heavy duty and it's going to be powerful and it might crack you out a bit. So it's going to be something that you make and you store. All right. You make and you store and you use it once in a while when things need to be shaken up. So that's how I want you to think of it. Similarly, with spell work, like it's all about understanding the energy of this moon this moon and this eclipse. So this eclipse is happening in Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius is all about, like everybody thinks of Sagittarius as travel, but Sagittarius is also a scholar. So it's a, it's a really good time. This is good energy for anything that's about knowledge, expertise, truth, anything like that. Travel is good too, but you know, we're going into, probably going to be going into another lockdown in winter. So that's probably not going to work. But like, you want to think of it as like external. So the the new moon itself this is stuff that's going to be internal shifts right so it's like we like versus a full moon where it's like lots of it is external but this is like this is about magnetizing to us based on the shifting beliefs that are going on inside of us so an eclipse is good for change so when you're going to cast spells on an eclipse night during a new moon the focus wants to be you need to put that focus on change change from where you were to change where you want to be that needs to be the dynamic. It can't just be straight, I want more. It needs to be a defined pivot, right? Like a pivot from where you were before to something brand new. That needs to be the focus of the spell work. So that's how you want to look at it. And this applies no matter what you want to do. If you want if you want to like have a pivot in your love life, in your business, in your money, in your habits, this is like that kind of energy is change. It's the energy of change. And the other thing we want to keep in mind with a lunar eclipse is that it's it's a marriage of two binaries, right? So it's like darkness and light. So a lot of people will talk about this being like you know, they try to say like the masculine and the feminine. I don't really like that that much. I think that that language is a little old worldy. I don't like it. I like to say like you want to think about it like, um, you know, yeah, like balance and two binaries. So dark and light. Some people will say masculine and feminine. I like to say divine ambition, divine creativity, but it's like a marriage of the two. You know, life and death, all of that kind of stuff. So when you're doing spell work, it's a good time to work with a certain kind of deity. And when I say that, what I'm saying, what I mean is like, you want to think of deities who have that kind of like, um, that kind of binary within them. Like somebody who's both like, you know, powerful, like powerful and also like a little, like, like a Hecate kind of thing where it's like, you know, a dark goddess right so it's like a goddess who's like you know in that divine that divine receiving that divine creativity but in like a really dark way right like she's an underworld goddess so you want to think of a marriage of two energies in them this is especially important too because while we have a lunar eclipse while we've got like a lunar eclipse going on in Sagittarius the the opposite of this is going to be Gemini so like it is that balance between these two like extremes right so we've got like we've got Sagittarius who's like um, the scholar who's like a traveler and then we've got Gemini who's kind of more fun loving not that Sagittarius isn't Sagittarians are always like party animals I love them in their own way okay in their own way but we want to think about like you know it's kind of um it Gemini is more of that mercurial energy where it's like everything's always changing. It's always about communication. It's less about that studious nature. So it's about like marrying two things. That's what this is all about. So if you're going to sit down and do spell work, that's what you want to be bringing into the intent is like the change, the duality, and like existing in two places. So like a beginning and an end. This is a perfect time for spells regarding getting rid, of, getting rid of limiting beliefs. That's perfect. If you want to start a new opportunity, this is a great time for that. If you're moving, if you're like trying to call in a new home, trying to call in something like that, that's a great opportunity as well. It's all about changing your circumstances, changing the things inside you in order to bring about change from the external. That's what this is about. Um, so you don't need to be afraid of how this eclipse is going to is going to work with your spell work because it is all about intention and a lot of times like matching the intention to the energy of the moon that's what's going to like create that create that results that you're wanting because when it comes to spell work everything is about intention like you can cast whatever spell you want but if something in your heart is not totally aligned then it's not like for I'll use an example say you know um 
you've been stall you've been stalling out in business okay so oh, deeply personal here so say that you've been stalling out in business and you want more clients so what you're doing is you're saying like I'm gonna cast a spell for attraction because it's a new moon so it's a manifestation so I want to do manifesting stuff because I, I guess I should have also explained when the when the moon is dark it's about it's about the moon phase growing into a full moon so that's why we do spells of increase then versus at a full moon you can do increase but you also like I like to focus on decrease at the full moon so so we're doing a spell of increase so you're like all right new moon I want to do a spell of increase um, so I'm just gonna cast a spell to bring me more clients but if your clients or your money has come from clients that are not in alignment with you for example like clients that aren't paying you clients that you know don't seem to like take your advice um, maybe they don't show up for calls or they don't book calls if those are the clients that you have and you're trying to cast a spell for more clients part of you isn't on board with this because part of you is like all these fucking clients are a headache so you're actually so what you may end up doing is creating chaos for yourself so you cast a spell and then you either invite you either attract more of these like shaky clients that you don't like or you lose all the clients because it's like part of you doesn't even want them in the first place so it feels like you're not getting what you want but you have to see this as like that's why we need to focus on the internal and connecting it to the external so that's why we got to look at like what am I what is it that I'm going to change and that can be beliefs it can be bad habits it can be whatever it is all of that stuff how am I going to change that to call in something new how am I changing courses that is the energy of a lunar eclipse so that's what you need to be focusing on when you do spell casting so for example on Monday I'm gonna be doing a healing circle I'm doing a manifestation circle I am gonna be casting spells with people and we're gonna be doing like I'll be doing card polls about like what is the energy that you need to be pivoting from like pivoting from and pivoting to and that's what we're gonna be doing and then getting into a group to cast a spell that's always like the most beautiful thing because the more people you have involved the juicier the energy is so the things you need to keep in mind when you are casting spells is how do you how are you building up your energy to cast it because if you just sit down as you are and kind of quietly go about it is it gonna work yeah maybe but like we want to really judge it up so that's talking about like um creating energy in the body so that can be like dancing it can be chanting it can be clapping it can be making music drumming on your table like you want to make you want to make make energy with your body because like all of this it's a marriage between like it's a marriage between the the you know higher chakras and the lower chakras and so the lower chakras are chakras are like our base right it's like the the shit that we we are embarrassed to want right it's like these all tend to deal with like hunger and sex and like you know kink and like you know you like what you like and like whatever there's no judgment you don't have tons of control over what turns you on and then the upper half of us is always focused on becoming better bringing the things that we want and like shedding all of that embarrassing shit but we have to marry the two so a good like whenever you move your body or you sing or you make music with it you're drumming up energy from those lower chakras to basically bubble up to bubble up bubble up and it turns this back down inward so we can connect our energies this way I hope this makes sense it makes sense to me so hopefully it's making sense to you guys and it's like once we do all of that that's when you're able to like drum up enough like enough energy to like really put into the spell so the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're making a little altar for yourself I like to include like um something to represent all four elements so like water fire air earth so that could be and it doesn't have to be anything fancy it can literally be like you know a stick or a leaf or something to signify earth you could have a candle which um, would be both it would be both um, air and fire and then you could have like a cup of water or e like a little cup of water or something all of that like those four things boom you got your four elements so 
and I just like to do that just because it like it feels grounding it feels centered so we want to like you know marry all of that together so on that note because I have to start scooting out of here I have a call in a little bit so what so if you've never done this before like you can google it you can google plenty of spells lots of people have spells out there that say exactly what to do or if like if you want to do this if you want to do that whatever this is such a great like my my spell circle that I'll be doing on Monday for this eclipse this is a it's a beautiful one because it doesn't have to be business oriented so if you're wanting a change in any area of your life not just business let's say you know you want to change in your love life or you want to change in you know your habits like your personal habits all of that like you can bring that can bring that to Monday so that's what I'll be doing we'll be opening up with intuitive messages about like the energy where will we close out we'll see but we'll have intuitive messages about like what you need to do to leave things behind and the action that you need to take to show the universe that you are taking that pivot and you are making that change in the days after because it's not just about like you know soulful intention it's also about the action that we take as individuals as we step out from our spell circles because it's it's and that is actually it's the law of potentiality it means that like the only thing, like everything, everything that's ever come from anything is just energy. It's like this earth, the Big Bang, that was all like man unmanifested energy, which is the same thing in our reality, right? Like everything that we want that doesn't exist is just existing in that energetic plane. And the only difference is the action we take and the intentions we set to bring it into reality. So that's what I'm going to be doing on Monday is we're going to be doing that together. And my spells are so powerful. The last spell that I did, my full moon fear release, the girls will tell you how much fun we had. But also, it like, <sighs> that was a doozy. Like literally within that lunar cycle, um, I landed my interview, I landed a feature in Forbes is what happened and then something else happened around then too but like I had a big feature in Forbes, I had two clients come through, I had all of this stuff just like really happen in a super wild and kismet way. So this isn't going to be something you want to miss out on, it's going to be amazing and so much fun and if you want to sign up that link is here, here. I don't know, wherever. It's here in the caption, and I'm also going to drop it in the comments. So if you'd like to join us, we would love to have you. So on that note, I'm going to let you guys go because I'm going to get some water and prepare for this call. Let me know if you have any questions and use that hashtag if you want to get in touch with me or slide into those DMs. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.